Jokes about getting names wrong. We've all heard the jokes about how baristas never get your name right. Uh, John. I'm sorry, could you please use it in a sentence for me? Yeah, um, just, hi, I'm John. John. That's John. Now, I'm not saying these jokes can't ever be funny. It made for a great runner on my favorite How I Met Your Mother episode, mainly because the mistaken name was cranked up to the point of absurdity, and for the bulk of it, the joke was really on the character who deserves to be mocked constantly. But the stereotype of baristas can't spell has gotten very old, especially since, in my experience, getting the name wrong is basically never, ever, 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 ever the barista's fault. Do you have any idea how much noise there is behind the counter at Starbucks? Between ovens, coffee brewers, espresso machines, blenders, the ventilation system in general, it's a miracle we can hear a single word you're saying, let alone your name. Maybe we'd be getting your name right if you weren't whispering it like it's some terrible secret. Chief, it can't hurt to give just your first name. Thaddeus. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus? Sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> and look, I sympathize if you have a name that gets misspelled or mispronounced a lot. I know how annoying that is. I can't count how many ways my last name has been misspelled or mispronounced. But if your name has a lot of common spellings, it's not up to the barista to psychically guess which one you use. And I'm sorry if you have a name that people routinely don't even attempt to get right. That sucks, I can't even begin to imagine how hard that is for you. But baristas are not the people to take your anger out on. Baristas are under an incredible amount of pressure. We're taught to both be as friendly as possible with the customers, but also get them out of line as quickly as possible. It's a lot of mixed messages to deal with, and it's very, very hard. 